Hello, and welcome to the School of Theater and Dance Dance Student Question and Answer Session today. We're very happy to welcome you here, whether you're a student who has been admitted both academically and artistically to the dance program, whether you're someone who's interested in minoring or double majoring in dance, or if you just want to have dance be an important part of your life once you come to college. We're going to be answering your questions today in this live Q&A. So please feel free to introduce yourself and ask any questions that you might have. We also have some of our current dance students who are joining us in the panel today. So if you uh, are in the live chat session, so if, if you are joining us in the live chat as a current student, please feel free to introduce yourself. And now without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Maddie Council, uh, a senior dance major who will be moderating our panel today. So Maddie, take it away. Hi, thanks Sheena. Um, my name is Maddie Council and I am a senior double major in dance and media art and design with a concentration in interactive design and I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, if everyone else wants to go ahead and introduce themselves, that'd be great. Hi, I'm Chloe Conway. I am a junior dance major and a disability studies minor and I'm also from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Hi, I'm Michael Miller. I'm a sophomore dance major and as of recently a theater minor and I'm from Long Island, New York. Hi, I'm Ashari White. I am a junior dance major and I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our first question. Um, what kind of performance opportunities are available for first year dance majors? Um, so um, first year dance majors have a lot of performance opportunities. Um, one of the big ones is the associate dance ensemble. Um, so you'll get to work with a professor one semester and then your associate directors, which are two senior dance majors. Um, and then um, one of my favorite performance opportunities from freshman year was um, I auditioned for a residency with Greg Dolbashian. Um, so I got to um, learn that piece and then I performed it in the beginning of sophomore year. So that was one of my favorite performance opportunities. You'll also, you can also be asked to be a part of different dance majors composition one pieces that you'll perform in a small showcase that we call EJM. And um, it's a good way for you to get to know other dance majors, maybe upperclassmen, and um, get a feel of how our program works. And also freshman year, I was able to audition for the Kyle, Kyle Abraham residency, AIM, and we performed with them in January, and it was a really great experience to work with such well-rounded and professional dancers. Yeah, actually, I came in, I didn't start off as a dance major, so I came in my sophomore year, so my story's a little different, but my favorite performance experience, coming in as a freshman, was um, doing an associate's piece. And we had two students who actually choreographed the associate's piece. And that was my first actually performing ever in the Jamie Dance Program. So that was my favorite experience. Yeah, and so some of the residencies that Chloe and Michael were talking about are, <clears throat> excuse me, open to all dance majors, but also as a part of the associate dance ensemble, um, you'll usually get to do a freshman residency that's just for the freshman dance majors. And it's either performed in the fall student dance concert or the spring student dance concert in addition to the piece that you're already in. So that's a pretty unique opportunity for you all as well. Um, can, let's see, what are the pros and cons of I feel left out if I choose to live in a regular dorm? Um, so I lived in Wayland my freshman year, and um, I would say a pro of that is one, you're really close to Forbes um, and the quad, so you're close to everything. Um, and then another cool thing was just like walking downstairs and um, hearing people um, playing music and um, you know, pr practicing their scenes. Um, I think it's cool. I've never been in a place like surrounded by so many arts majors. Um, so um, I did enjoy living in Wayland and I met my roommates that I live with now and I've lived with for the past four years, so. I also lived in Wayland. And one thing that I really enjoyed the most was that you're able to interact with so many different people as in like, arts, um, music education, there's theater, musical theater. And that's something that you don't really get to do when it comes time to take classes because you're so deep into your major and you're just really involved within the dance program. So I would recommend living in Wayland and I think you won't miss out on anything. Yeah, I, 
I didn't live in Wayland. I live in a regular dorm. So just as Michael just said, if you don't live in Wayland, I don't think you would miss out. You're going to be in Forbes a lot being a dance major. Like you're going to be there 24 seven so and just get each other's numbers. You're going to be really close with your class. So you can just hang out with them a lot. So being in a dorm, I don't think you would make you feel out left out at all. Yeah, I also lived in Wayland my freshman year. Um, I think living in Wayland was definitely the highlight of my four years at JMU. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I don't think you'll miss out on anything, um, but it was definitely a very comfortable um, place for me to jump into just because I did a lot of theater and art in high school in addition to dancing. So it was kind of a community that I was used to. And it was nice that everyone who lived around me kind of understood the crazy schedule that I was on. And um, that was just a commonality that we all shared. And I think my senior class across Stad now is really close from uh, most of us living in Wayland. Um, can you describe a typical dance schedule throughout the four years? Ooh, um, so your freshman year, you will take um, associate and then modern and ballet. Most people take modern and ballet every semester. Um, and then um, in my sophomore year, I um, did the composition series. So I took um, composition one and two. Um, and I, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, and then I did, you have your teaching methods class. I did that my junior year. Um, and I took anatomy my sophomore year. Um, so there's different um, electives, like you won't take as many of the dance um, core courses your first year, at least in my experience, I didn't, but sophomore year and on, um, they started, I started adding a lot more, if that makes sense. And before taking composition, you'll take dance improvisation. So um, that's just like a little stepping stone to, that really helps you get into dance composition. And um, sophomore year, you'll join the Contemporary Dance Ensemble, which is made up of sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And that's also another way for you to get performance opportunities by doing what we call a mega audition, which is in front of all of the students. And people will cast you for their pieces, their student pieces for the fall student, the spring student dance concert, and new voices in dance. Just like Chloe said, you would take, um, usually people take ballet and modern every single semester. And on top of your dance classes, um, freshmen usually take their gen X as well. So that's our classes that everybody at GM, you have to take um, certain credits you have to take in order to graduate. There's also a couple classes that span the SMAD department. So usually freshman year, you'll take a class um, called, I think it's now changed to STAD 171, but it's basically looking at all the technical elements. So you'll go through different rotations such as scenery, costume design, um, lighting design, things like that. And as a part of that class, you'll work on a show. So most dancers, depending on whether you take it fall or spring, will either um, work on the Virginia Repertory Dance Comp concert or the New Voices in Dance concert. Um, so that's something that everyone takes. And if you can't get it in freshman year, um, it's totally okay. Some people take it sophomore year as well. Um, and in, in addition to sophomore year, you take a class that is now, and I think it's third year, um, but it's called the Collaborative Artist. And it's for all STAD majors and works on collaboration. Um, and like Michael mentioned, since we're in Forbes so much heavy in our dance classes, it's nice to take this class and be able to work with the people that maybe you've met in Wayland or um, that you've seen in the hallways but never gotten to interact with. So I think those students. Um, our next question is, can you describe the performance schedule throughout the year? Oh yeah, so um, the school year starts out with um, the New Dance Festival um, and usually an outside company comes in and they um, would have set a residency the year before. So my sophomore year, that would have been the Greg Dolbashian piece that I mentioned earlier. Um, and then you'll have your um, fall student dance concert and um, EJM, which is um, the dances that weren't in the fall student dance concert. You still get an opportunity to show those. Um, and then if you're in the Virginia Repertory Dance Company, um, you'll have dance scapes in December also. And then if someone else wants to talk about spring semester. Yeah, fix, add in anything if I miss anything. But in the spring is when our big focus is the New Voices in Dance concert, um, which is filled with five student works that are chosen from the fall student dance concert. And um, as well as I believe two faculty pieces, three, three faculty pieces. And then we'll, um, 
and then we start focusing on the spring student dance, which follows after that, followed by EJM as well in the spring. Also in the spring too, we have the senior dance concert, which is in February um, in our Earl and J. Miller Dance Theater. And it was actually just the last performance we did before we hit quarantine. So <laughs> glad that we got that one in there. <laughs> um, our next question is, how is preparation for dance as a career towards graduation? Um, oh, I'm trying to think of how to go about this question. Someone else can answer if you have an answer. I gotta think about it. I can go just- Yeah, Maddie, do you wanna answer? That's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> so your senior year in the fall, you'll take a class called the Dance Professional, um, which is geared towards um, giving you the resources you need to go out and make dance a career in whatever form you decide to pursue it. Um, so we do things like learning how to build resumes, create websites, um, Oftentimes we'll bring in people that will speak to us um, and give us different lectures. Um, we'll do projects such as learning how to create your own dance studio or open a nonprofit, um, or we'll do different city presentations or what's dance like in Chicago, what's dance like in Colorado. Um, and so those kinds of things. Um, I have spoken with a lot of our professors. I think that's honestly the biggest key um, when going into like senior season is just talking with your professors. They have so much knowledge, um, oftentimes that you don't even know without just like going on their door and knocking and talking to them. And they'll be able to give you a lot of great advice either from their career or from someone that they know. Um, but yeah, they've, I found that they have been one of my greatest resources, especially now going out and trying to find auditions, so. I have something to add. I just think that um, like getting to work, especially this past year, I got to work with um, a lot of um, JMU dance alum through Virginia Repertory Dance Company. Um, and I think that one of the special things about our program is that our alumni are so willing to um, work with you and um, just to be in contact with you. Like if you had a um, idea for a career path you wanted to take in dance, like say you wanted to do dance therapy, I'm sure like JMU alum, we could connect you with a dance therapist that went to JMU and um, would have resources for you or just talk with you if you wanted to learn more about it. So. Um, um, I think that's one of the special things about our program and our professors really encourage that too, is just getting connected with alumni and um, trying to figure out like what career path you wanna take because um, people have done many different things. Yeah, and if you are pursuing a career in performance too, um, all of the residency opportunities and guest artists that we bring in um, are phenomenal. They really do help to build connections. Um, not only we had Dance Work Chicago in for a residency, last spring I think it was and then several of our dancers went and did their intensive and I know that more were planning to go this summer. Um, some of us now are looking at going to their audition for the company and we've built relationships with the company members so that's something too that I'm definitely super thankful for. Um, okay next question is what I lost them. Can you describe some of the opportunities for choreographing? Um, so you'll have um, two big opportunities to choreograph and that's in your comp one class and your comp two class. Um, so you'll choreograph a, um, a solo for both classes and then um, a duo or a trio for comp one and a group piece for comp two. Um, and those are built into the curriculum. Um, so you'll definitely get a chance to choreograph even if those are the only times you do, but um, almost every student chooses to choreograph um, almost every semester after that um, for our fall and spring student dance concerts because those are completely um, student run. And yeah, if anybody else wants to add anything. Yeah, I'm in composition two right now and I took composition one last semester. And honestly, it was the class that I look forward to the most because it's such an intimate setting because it's usually you and maybe six, seven, eight at most other people from your um, from the dance program. So you're really there and you're like collaborating with each other and it's one big, you know, everyone's helping each other to form someone's piece. So I had a bunch of my friends as well as our professor, you know, give us feedback and just help us along the way to create this piece and like at the end. And it really is a great class, especially just to connect with one another. And I'll also say another class to help you choreograph is improvisation. I know Michael mentioned that class earlier. 
improv, um, especially all the teachers would have projects towards the end. I know I was in Ryan, Ryan Corson's class, so I had big projects. We was in a group work and we had to actually choreograph a whole entire um, piece at the end for our project. So that's another class that you'll get to choreograph as well that's built in into the schedule. And like someone mentioned earlier, the, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the pieces that are in the fall student dance concert as well as the fall EJM showcase are looked at for then the new voices in dance concert. I think Michael was explaining that earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was fortunate enough to have my piece selected this year. And so one of the beautiful things about that process is that you start the piece in September and then uh, usually new voices isn't until April. So you get to continue working and building on that piece even after it's already shown once. And then you get to work with a lighting designer, a costume designer. So it's a really exciting experience. Um, there's also um, the um, American College Dance Association. So um, each year um, schools in your region um, take pieces for that. Um, so the piece that I was working on in September and on um, got selected for that. So then we got to keep working on that. And I was also choreographing another piece um, in the process of that. Um, so lots of choreography and um, being in rehearsals happening there, even though we didn't get to go, um, it's still an opportunity for students to um, create work for that and for it to get selected to go. Yeah, and we always try to send at least two student works to ACDA, so that's a super great opportunity as well. Um, our next question, are there any study abroad opportunities available specifically for dance majors? Maddie, you should probably talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we okay so we were supposed to have a trip going this summer and unfortunately due to everything around us it did get canceled but I was fortunate enough to go two summers ago um, we do a London study abroad in the dance program and it's about three and a half weeks and I believe we left like the very beginning of July or like a week into July so pretty much the month of July um, you're there and there are specific program classes that you take on Monday Wednesday and Friday but in addition, you get a stipend to go and take classes throughout the city in London. Um, so most mornings I would go somewhere called The Place and take classes in addition to the core classes that I had as a part of the program. And as well, you're seeing a ton of performances. I think we saw upwards of 15 to 20 maybe when we were there. So you're immersed in so much art, it's incredible. Um, in addition to being on a study abroad, so getting to do fun things. Um, like going on the London Eye and um, going to platform, the, the one from Harry Potter. <laughs> um, so it's great because you can take advantage of so many things while you're there, you can sightsee, but it's also um, an opportunity to forward your dance education. And I know that that is hands down my favorite dance program experience. Um, and I learned so much while I was there. It's also a pretty intimate setting. We had 13 people go my year. I think they don't let any more than like 18 or 20. Um, so it's a really nice sized group of people. Um, there's also the um, Russia program that um, Kate Trammell, um, who um, used to be a professor at JMU and still does a lot um, with our Dance for Parkinson's program, um, she runs and um, it's, um, I don't know much about it, but I know it's about um, arts and health integration. And um, I believe it's also a month long, um, but um, if anyone is interested in um, how arts and health um, can be combined and can be used together, um, that's a really cool program to look into. Um, this also wasn't study abroad, um, technically, but I um, applied for a um, CVPA grant um, and I got to go study um, in Toronto um, for, it was just for a weekend, but we got to study under the Mark Morris Dance Group for the Dance for Parkinson's um, program, me and um, two other dance majors and then two music majors. Um, so that was a cool experience to go somewhere. Um, and we got to do that through JMU um, with the help of Kate Trammell. Something that's also cool about the Russia program is I believe that it's not just dance majors um, going on that trip. So you really get to meet um, a bunch of different students, but also everyone gets to use their passions and their strengths and combine those. Um, and from talking to people who have gone on the Russia trip, I know that it is definitely a highlight for them. Okay, let's circle back. How hard is it to double major as a dance major? <laughs> um, I think I'm the only one, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll talk about double majoring and then you guys can talk about like minoring and stuff too. Um, 
I would say there are definitely certain majors that pair better if you do want to double major. Um, we definitely don't recommend doing something like nursing or business just because those are really intense majors to pair. Um, the media arts major, which is my double major, is definitely a really good one to pair. Um, within it, there are a bunch of different concentrations. I focus on interactive design. So I look at like web and app design and user design, um, but there's also creative advertising, which incorporates a little bit of marketing. There's a journalism concentration. Um, so there's definitely a bunch of different things encompassed in those. Um, my roommate is a political science double major and that has seemed to pair well. A lot of people also will pair health sciences. I was fortunate enough that I was able to uh, fix my schedule so that I am graduating in four years with two degrees. Um, it's definitely been a challenge and a bit difficult and you have to be very on top of your work and very organized. Um, you do really need to lay the foundation of a four-year plan your freshman year just because classes do sequence in a lot of different majors and so you want to make sure that you're following the sequence right away so that you don't get to the end and realize that oh I have three classes but they I can't take them all at once you know like they're in a sequence. Um, so definitely talk to your advisor. Um, they're very knowledgeable there of what's the best to do. So I would say if you do want a double major, go for it, but um, try to find someone who is also pursuing the second major that you're looking at and talk to them about what it was like for them because they can probably give you some really helpful advice. Um, yeah, I think just one of the awesome things about our program is that um, we like, because it's a BA program, you do have the opportunity to double major um, if you really want to. I think that was one of the things that drew me in originally. Um, and I've probably changed my minor multiple times um, just because I, I knew what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to, um, like what I wanted to focus in. I was preoccupational therapy and now I'm disability studies. So there's lots of um, leeway to, um, take classes and try different things. Um, yeah. Michael, do you have anything to add about? No, I just declared my minor like a week ago. So I have no, I have nothing yet about that. Okay. But it's very doable. It's very doable. <laughs> Ashari, yeah. do you have a minor too? No. <laughs> um, okay, our next question is, what has been your favorite part of the JMU dance program? Oh my gosh, how do you choose? <laughs> <Is that> um, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um oh my gosh I think that um my favorite part has oh, well I ha I'm just going to talk about a few um one of my so favorite fun. parts has been um the JMU dance for Parkinson's program um we started that my sophomore year with Kate Trammell and um we're still doing classes um even during this pandemic on zoom um but I just never thought that that was a um, community that I would be so interested in working with and um, through our dance and community class um, I got to work with a ton of different communities in our area and um, I just think that um, I love that the fact that you can use dance in so many different ways here um, because when I came into the program I knew I loved to teach and I knew I loved to dance but I didn't know what else I loved about dance. And I just think that um, there's so many opportunities to incorporate dance into other things. Um, and that's something I loved also. Um, just, I love how student, I don't wanna say student run, but how involved students are in um, creation and um, just in different processes, like how many opportunities we have to choreograph and to perform. Um, I just think that is something that, especially like even just coming in as a first year, like immediately from the get-go, I felt involved in the program. And um, I just think that that's really special about our program. Yeah, I would, um, I would have to say both the fall and spring student dance concerts are probably one of the most fun because when it comes time for the show, we always do a tradition to have warm-ups before um, every show. And it's just a way for us to relax and get the nerves out and just like dance with one another. And it's not even about, you know, having to look one sort of way and wanting to impress everyone. It's more of just like a let's have fun and let's send good energy out there before the show. And it's just a great way to talk to seniors because sometimes when you're a freshman, you and seniors don't really, um, your paths don't cross as much. So it's a great way to meet more people. And then it's just another way to market yourself and, you know, get to know each other inside this community that we've built. Michael, you stole my memory. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's to be the same as Michael. I love being around everyone, especially um, I didn't 
start off as a dance major. So it was really hard for me to get to know people. Um, but I love the Jamie dance community because everyone makes you feel welcomed. And I love just, it might be small, but I love just talking with different people, just having like little small conversation because um, it makes me feel welcome because I came in, I could say late. So then everyone just made me feel welcome and not like I didn't belong there. So when I came, I just really felt belonged. Oh gosh, it's a, such a hard question because I never know what to say because there's so many. Um, I think honestly though, like my, one of my favorite parts was um, the bond that the senior dance class um, has built over our four years together and then getting to do the senior concert together was such a special experience. Um, that process really is almost entirely student run. Um, my friend Caroline Ryan and I were the directors of it. And so um, the class as a whole decides one, who's gonna choreograph, two, we cast the piece, three, um, we always choose um, some sort of charity that we can raise awareness for or make some sort of donation for um, during our time of like planning and doing the show. And so this year um, we focused on the Ark of Harrisonburg and Rockingham and we made t-shirts um, that said all bodies are bodies in motion that we were selling to raise funds for them. So that was a really nice way to tie it in because we've worked with them so much throughout our four years. Um, and then our technical director, who's the senior, did all the lighting for it. And so it was just such a fun process to stand back at the end and realize that we hadn't all danced together since freshman year. And so for that to be kind of our last memory too, now that we're in quarantine, um, looking back, it definitely makes it even more special. <clears throat> I'm going to add one thing. Oh, I'm going to give a shout out to the dance faculty and the professors because they are the most knowledgeable and supportive people like probably ever. And they are there to get you to do what you want. And it's about you and what's best for your path. You know, they don't compare you to other people when they're talking to you. It's all about you. And they really are just like some of the best people ever. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they're like your parents. You're home away from Oh, home. yeah, completely. You like cried. You, never leave, you yeah. never leave your parents because they're there for you too. <laughs> um, okay, our last question is: If you go could go back to your freshman year and do something differently, what would it be? Oh, uh, I don't think I would do anything differently. Honestly, I think that um, I my goal was to just throw myself in as much as possible, and um, I think that as a freshman, that's really important. Um, just because um, like that's when you're getting to know everyone and um, you wanna be in student pieces. And um, yeah, I think just trying, maybe I would have tried to get to know upperclassmen a little bit more, um, but I think, and I wouldn't have been as scared probably of the upperclassmen because there's no reason to be scared of anyone. Um, but yeah, I think just, um, I tried to dive into the program as much as possible. And um, I feel like that helped me in the years later. Um, and it's still helping me now, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that, Chloe, I feel like that was one of the best answers is to just really, it's, although you're in a new environment and it, you know, no one and you're going back to scratch, um, it's important to say hi to upperclassmen and even people who are just a grade above you because um, we are such a family and we're so close that like we want everyone to feel welcomed and there's no reason to feel intimidated or anything like that. So I probably would have just opened myself up front right off the bat because that's honestly being a sophomore now going into junior year, that's like one of the best things to look for is like someone who's there and like willing to give themselves to the program. It's really nice to look for. I always say um, live your passion. Um, again, I kept saying that I came in, I didn't start off as a dance major, I actually started as a business but the reason why I started this business because um, I thought that being a dance major wasn't going to um, fulfill me enough. Um, I come from a family that, that, that doesn't have arts as a profession, but that's what I want to do. Like dance is my passion. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I was like afraid to do dance because I was scared of what people was going to say. And like dance is the art. So a lot of people look down on the arts. So I was just scared. Like, I don't want anybody to look down on me when everybody asks me, when I graduate, what did you do? And I'd be like dance and they'd be like, oh, that's cool. But um, I had to realize that because dance is my passion, that's what I wanted to do. And it doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. If you want to dance, then that's what you want to do. You should go for it. Don't care what anybody else is saying. Also adding to that, um, when you do become a dance major, I think you should live your truth. Don't compare yourself to anybody else in a dance program. Like everybody is their own person. Everybody is confident in who they are. So somebody like, like struggle, especially coming in dance program, 
the year that I came, I was like, well, my life doesn't go as high to my head like other people does. And then I just had to realize, like, that's fine. Like the professors don't care if you can kick your leg as high as to your head, they don't care. Like you live in your truth. Um, you're there for you working on yourself and just don't compare yourself to anybody else because it's going to hurt you in the long run and you're going to be comparing yourself. So just stay focused on you, embrace like your dysfunctions, embrace being who you are and everybody around you will support you and just loving who you are. So don't compare yourself and follow your passion. So if the answer is that it's going to be, then do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's so great, Ashari. Kind of going off of that, um, I think I wouldn't have been as harsh on myself. Um, it took me a little bit to realize that everyone was coming in with a different background. I had pretty much only done ballet and point work up until coming to JMU. So I got here and they were like, lay in your exposition, we're going to do swings. And I just did not understand what was going on. Um, and so it took me a while to realize that, oh, some people have been doing this for a while, but you know, maybe some people haven't been as trained in ballet as I thought. So your first semester and really first year is almost kind of this retraining point to get everyone on the same page. Um, and so just trust in that process. Don't be harsh on yourself and know that it's a learning curve. Um, and probably the second thing I would have done was starting to go to intensive sooner. This past summer, I was in Chicago um, at the Hubbard Street Summer Intensive, and it was incredibly life-changing just as an experience, but also um, for my technique and for my artistry. So I definitely would have started trying to do things like that sooner. Um, and there's also scholarships through the JMU Dance Program that can help you fund those. So that's also a super great opportunity. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that we were able to answer some of your questions. Um, I know Sheena put our emails um, in your all's chat. So please feel free to contact us and just say hi, or if you have any more questions, um, we'd be super happy to answer those for you. But we are so excited to see you back on campus in September um, and congratulations. So see y'all later. Bye.